Hello everybody, Targal here and welcome back to another episode of Crimson Skies. I'm going to need to diversify my food a little bit here before we get going. I just got another apple because when you check here, my dairy is going down, my grain and my vegetables. I've been killing a lot of mobs. I mean a lot of mobs. I got to show you guys uh, when you go under mobs here. 47 creepers, 4 endermen, 48 skeletons, 54 zombies and even a zombie villager. Um, hoping to get a potato or a carrot. I think that zombies can drop those, but no luck so far. And I don't want to eat more protein, so I would like to make some bread. But in order to make bread, I need to make flour dough. This stuff here, or just flour. And then that one we can smelt up into bread, right? But in order to do that, I need to make this right here. The millstone as well as a hand crank. Uh, and it's also that quest that we opened up last time. But I wanted to show you first here how bad this is as fuel. Look at how fast that uses up the spark. I mean, that's just... I mean, it's, it's the worst fuel I've ever seen, right? But might as well just use it up, right? While I can here, I just want to drop in like half of the stuff here as soon as the bark is gone. Because we're also going to need some smooth stone for Botania in a minute. Okay, um, because uh, that's the next step we need to do. Let's go ahead and get a few more sticks made uh, right there and let's get going on this. I'm going to need this right here. I'm going to need two of them. And what does it take for the crank the same? So I'm going to need two. Um, what is that? That is eight, ten smooth stone. But I guess we can start with two first to make this hand crank. All right, so we got that. And now I just got to wait for two more. Smooth stone so I can make the actual mill. And now we can get going. Uh, there we go. Good. Um, another thing, by the way, this quest here just completed. Um, the hemp. Because, well, I've been collecting all the stuff here over and over. You guys see here, I have tons of stuff here. 43 wheat. And I took these off the field. The, the hemp that we had in this row right here. Because you get the same, this one right here. And... Sometimes you don't even get a seat back and this grows a lot faster this hemp here So I decided I'm, I'm not gonna harvest this right now on camera, but I decided to only stick with the industrial hemp for now, right? Okay, so did I get oh yes, I have them all. Let's go ahead and continue here and Make this thing right there. All right, let's see how this works and I want to do Let's just do one for right now Ooh, Quest complete, okay all right, I want to see if something else opens up in that quest chain here. But that's it. <laughs> Just one. I'm guessing that maybe if I get further here that something else is going to open up. What, again? I thought that... There's no reward, nothing. It just told me twice. Interesting. All right, what are we going to... Let's put it over here, right there. And then I'm guessing... Shift right click to place this on top. Millstone show recipes okay oh it does something oh my look at my hunger oh my god that is very hunger intensive ah this is the progress bar up here still not enough huh so that's not really worth it <laughs> Because this means I'm going to need more, uh, uh, use more hunger than it is to make one bread. There's six. All right, but we're going to have to, let's just complete this here. Cook this one up and then at least, um, actually eight. So I'm going to need six more cobblestone because I'd like to have a quick, hey, put it in there, take it out. Because I want to have uh, 16 smooth stone so I can um, make living rock twice. So let's check here real quick. How much does this bring me up here? I'm get. Does it actually tell you on the food? Grain, 2.5%. Let's check here real quick. So I am at 46. So this should get me to 48 or 49%. 49. Okay, so it rounds up it looks like it. But still, that that's, that's quite something. That is a lot of... That is a lot of hunger you need for this machine here. So that's not really something that I can do a lot of. Is there any way to automate this thing? I, I don't know. 
what are you an anchor there's this is a pretty big mod here this is only better with mods there's a lot of stuff in here i have no idea what all this is gonna do but i'm sure we'll find out eventually i wanted to look at making these slates instead of oh yeah you guys saw i put walls around here i tried to start sprucing this up a little bit um but wood is not really a building option yet because in order to make planks and whatnot you know i gotta use the axe as well so that that's quite a lot of work but anyway so oh did this actually was this a quest or something i don't think it was no the next quest now is to make a pure daisy and then um we have to make a pure daisy 12 no one living wood one living rock and a gravel and it says here that when you put cobblestone next to the living uh the pure daisy it gives you gravel which is pretty cool i think oh i didn't want to click on that okay so let's go ahead and make a pure daisy that should be pretty easy i did um use 10 more of these things here to make the floor fertilizer and i got these flowers all together here um so we're gonna need two of these and then we have a bunch of other ones here i think i'm gonna use the pink one here and then whatever else we're gonna find to make a whatchamacallit a uh wand of the forest yes Okay, so let's go ahead and make our four petals and one of you, two, three, four, and there we go. We got our pure daisy and then I should be able to just take this, fill it up, and there we go. Good, so if I need to make anything else, but let's make sure that the quest here accepts this. Hello. Can you please... This quest drives me nuts, this quest book. <laughs> I don't know. I, now it shows up, okay. So I think instead of planting it over here, because I'm going to probably be destroying this, I think I'm going to take this last piece of dirt I have, and we are going to put it... I don't want to put it over here. Let's put it... right there. See you later. All right, just like that. And now I should be able to go. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the gravel. Because that should be the easiest. Yeah, we get the white particle effect, which is perfect. And how are we doing over here? So that is 13, 16. All right. So that's going to make... What does it usually say? Usage. Doesn't that tell you smelts one and a half items? So I need exactly two of these planks. Okay. Oh, it already turned. Very cool. All right. Medoc is not really the best thing on this. Compared to a shovel. It's really bad on gravel. It's just like you use your fists. See, it's the same speed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Aha. When you use your fists, you get this stuff here. Pile of gravel, which three of them make a gravel. Very interesting. So you should always use a tool. That's good to know. And then I'm going to make the wood here real quick. Let's go ahead and get eight of these. So we get some living wood. And then I think as the quest reward, I'm going to take the the living rock. Because making smooth stone for me right now is still very expensive. And that's what we're going to do next here. Let's just make sure that... Okay, here's something I want to try. If, if it makes a difference or not. I have no idea. Aha, check this out. When you use the book, it goes back to the last quest you were on. If I use my key binding B for this... Oh, there's a thing here. I don't know what this is. So I'm going to be using the book. That is actually a huge difference. Alright, I'm picking up the last piece of this. And now we're going to make the living rock. I'm only going to make eight so far because I'm only going to need five, I think, for the, whatchamacallit, the, the mana pool. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, and then right here it says we need to make an endo flame, and then we get two as a reward, which is pretty cool. So why don't we do that as well? And endo flame is two brown, one red, and one light gray. So there's my two brown, there's my one red, and is this light gray? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this. So there's one, one red, and my two brown. So here you go. 
There's my end of flame. Finish that quest. Cool, and we're getting two more end of flames, which is perfect. Which I'm probably gonna have to plant here. Because I don't have any more grass or anything, and I'm pretty sure that I cannot make the floating version. I think that takes grass. Actually, we can check in a second. Maybe it was changed in this um, mod pack. But let's go ahead and get our reward for this, the living rock claim. Okay, so what's next now? Transfer. So they need to make a mana spreader and a mana pool. Mana spreader. Doesn't that take gold? Aha! Recipes changed. Very good, but I wanted to show you guys something. Um, we could have made it with gold because these zombie hearts here, two of them turn into six gold nuggets. I looked at all the stuff, the usage for all the things earlier when, I don't know, I was just waiting out the night pretty much. To see what we can do with this. Let's go ahead and fill this up again. Um, we're gonna need to, so we have these three, so we're gonna set them up here. So I'm gonna have to make this platform a little bit bigger first, but let's go ahead and make, okay, just to double check, mana pool and mana spreader. Let's go ahead and make that. And we are going to use the gray one. Bada bing, bada bang. So I'm gonna need to make more of this because I'm gonna need to make uh, one of the forest. And that's gonna cost me six by itself. There we go. I'm very stingy when it comes to wood, guys. Because you're gonna have to take a lot of these down here. It's, it's, it, it's more uh, involved in this mod pack to get wood than it is in other ones. But it's, it's good. I'm, I have no problem with it. Oops. Let's use the book. So we got that complete. Alright, so now what can we do with this here? Gravel essentially sand with a few impurities. So stone hammer, crushing table, and sand. Mandrill. By throwing a sapling into a mana pool, it'll turn into a mandrill sapling. That is cool, because that means we can make torches. And I think that... One of these things here is a good fuel as well in a furnace. And then the last one, rice. Using the mana pool, you can essentially turn seeds into rice seeds. Rice can be used as food for making paper or rice balls, which can be turned into slime block and then slime. Yeah, I knew that. That's good. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get this and make our wand of the forest. And then I think we're going to set up this mana first to get this going. Because it's probably going to take a while before we can throw a sapling in there. Alright. So we're going to need... I think it takes three. Yes. I'm pretty sure it does. And then uh, like this. There we go. We got our wand of the forest. Very good. Um, and I guess now we'll set it up. But let me go ahead and extend this platform here first. So I did find out a way on how to make charcoal. I, I tried this when you check here on the charcoal recipe under smelting. It shows logs here, but I think those are only forestry logs. Because when you put a regular log in, I got this ash here. Which there is no usage for that. I don't know what this is for. But this um, compressed sawdust here, whoops. Right there, you guys see, we, we, we're we getting a lot of the sawdust when we break the tree by hand or when we use the axe to saw down the logs. And that makes compressed sawdust, which actually turns into this stuff. Oh, let's put another stick here. <laughs> I'm being so stingy with my fuel. All right, there we go. So we got six of these. Um, and I, I think those are right now the best for this here. I don't need them for torches because um, we're going to have the mandrel tree here very soon. Let's see if we can get this going already. Um... It should tell me when I hold this in my hand. Yep, check it out. Bam, we got our mineral sapling. And, whoops, didn't want to do that. How about the quest? How about now? No? Okay, let me pick it up again. Now it's completed. I don't understand why. It's, it's maybe the version of this better quest, because I've used it a lot before, right? And never really had these problems with the with the quests. Alright, so let's plant this guy. And I could use that, but it takes too long, so let's just take 
a couple of the bone meal. Hopefully bone meal works on these. Yes. Very nice. That's a lot more wood as well. Okay, I want to see here first if I break it by hand. Does it also give me the plank, sawdust, and that? Okay. And I got two planks. When you use the axe, you get three planks. Plus sawdust, plus also bark. So it's definitely better to use the axe to take it down. Um, but I'll take that down in a second. And then the other thing was that, yes, it said put a seed in here to get the... Let me just double check here. So this is going to complete in a second. We're doing this here. Okay, let's see here. Ah, okay. So this seed turns into a coffee seed. Then it turned into a canola seed, which we can eat for grain, guys. Aha, so I don't need to make bread. And then this is a flax seed, which is actually really good to have. To get string. All right, but let's do the quest first. I can always make a flax seed afterwards. And there's a rice seed. Very good. And of course, you need to click on here first. <laughs> Drop it and pick it up again. Oh, what? You kidding me? Oh, now it showed. It just took a minute. Okay. And now we can plant this one. Let's plant it right here. And I got the bone meal on me. Oh, this one you can right click. That is nice. I like it. So this one is also grain 1%. What can we do with this here? We can make paper. We can make more rice seeds. We can, yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Resonant. And three of those turn into rice still, which turns into slime balls. And when we cook it, we get rice bread. Ooh, that is good. Very nice. That That's a huge price. So I don't, I don't want to mess with that, with that hunger eater over there. Okay, so let's do this. And I'm going to go ahead and tear down this tree and clean up my inventory real quick. So I did get the flax seeds. There we go. Perfect. And then I think these four over here, I'm also going to make um, the rice for now. I took the I took the wheat down completely because there really isn't that much use for it. And this is a good food source as well as lots of slime balls. So there we go. That's what I'm going to leave it at for now. And I took down this tree. I have to extend the platform a little bit. I had a bunch of stuff that fell off here. Um, but we did get, uh, check this out, I got 29 mineral wood plus this, so I, it would have been 30. That's a lot of wood. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I need one more. I need one more string. I want to see if we can make a bed. Because that would be really cool if I can sleep the night away. I have no idea if we can, but it's definitely worth a try. Let's go ahead and make three wool. And then we're probably going to need... Uh, vanilla wood to make a bed. Okay, there's that. And that. Sweet. We can make a bed. Okay, very nice. And we're going to put that. Where are we going to put that? Um, Right there. Check it out. <laughs> very nice. We can sleep the night away. So I cooked up two of these rice breads and it gave me an actual additions manual. Which we don't really need. You can get everything out of the uh, JEI from Actually Editions as well. All the pages. Um, but I think we're going to continue with making this crushing table here first. Let's go ahead and make this. The quest book wants us to make a crushing table and a stone hammer right there. And then I think we're going to crush up one gravel to make sand. And I think... All right, that's not how we use it. Ah, okay, you gotta click on top. I, I clicked on the front here, I think. And uh, there we go, done. We got our sand. Hopefully, uh, I've been trying to complete this uh, with different ways as well. Um, I I used my fist to kill a zombie and a skeleton. It didn't give me credit either. So, um. Ah, sorry guys. I should learn by now. All right, so we got this and we're getting four sandstone. All right. Did I get it? Oh, something else opened up. I want to see. Yes, I did get it. 
Okay, that looks like... Did I just see Astro Sorcery? I think that's what I saw. Yes. Marble. Okay, so... The pure daisy can turn sandstone into aquamarine shale, which you can dig to obtain aquamarine. With aquamarine, you'll be able to turn stone into marble. And we're getting 32 marble. Okay. So let's go ahead. Should we use all four? Eh, why not? I can make more if it's needed, right? With the sand. Uh, which I should probably put away right there. Okay, and this guy can stick right there. Good. Alright, um, I'm very happy about this rice stuff, by the way. Um, it's pretty good. And I did want to test something, because I know you can eat rice without being hungry. It gives you 1%, so we're grain 51. Did this go up? 52. So you can eat this without being hungry. Okay. I don't think that's supposed to be that way, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so we don't have any fortune or something, so we're probably only going to get... Oh, we did get two on this one. Two again. Oh, that's not bad, getting seven out of two. I know with fortune you get a lot more. Okay, and then... Oh. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to beat this horse to death. Thank you. All right, so with Aquamarine, we can turn it into marble. Let's see here. That gives us that. Nobody needs that. Wait. What? What? Do I put this in here? No. Okay, what am I missing here? Can turn into aquamarine, which you can dig to with aquamarine, you'll be able to turn stone into marble. Do I maybe just need to take some stone? In the crafting table, maybe? No? Okay, let's go backwards. Marble. A recipe. A starlight transmutation. So I ran into a bunch of problems here since that last cut with crafting the marble um, and then also some other astro sorcery quests. And I reported them all to Pixel and it's a day and a half later now. And the pack was already updated to Alpha 072. And the marble recipe now shows up right there as well as the other recipe that we're going to need next. The... A luminous crafting table right here that one also didn't show up and so on um, so all that was fixed and a couple of things that um, I was told also by pixel is that the problem that with with some of the quests is because um, better questing mod updated from version 2 to version 3 so that's a it's a big upgrade right to this mod so a lot of things changed and so on um, and I was hoping that this one here will work but it still does not work but I decided we're gonna just complete this now with a command. And I wanted to show you guys how to do that in case you ever run into an issue like this yourself. If you hover over a quest right here and you hold down shift, you guys see it says uh, pound three, hashtag number three. It's a pound symbol when you're a programmer. If you're a social media expert, then it's a hashtag. <laughs> so it's just number three, right? Mob farm right there. And in order to do that is what we need to type is um, BQ admin underscore admin complete and then just the number three bam and now it shows completed quest mob farm for f2g turgal and you guys now see it still shows here kill zombies zero of one but the quest completed and now we can go ahead and i'm just gonna take the zombie hearts because now this is completed and we can also complete this one here we need the monster jerky and the drying rack and i just wanted to say thanks to pixel for getting all this fixed so quick i'm Appreciate it. That's really cool. And. Oh, wow. Completely disappeared the thing over here. But the quest completed. That's that's the important thing. You know, I was just worried in case I need it as a prereq for another chapter or something. All right. So. And um, Pixel also told me that two recipes, the logs into sticks and logs into chests was not intended um, or is not intended, so I'm not going to use those anymore. So we got to turn everything into planks, 
Pixel also told me just use the Maddox. You don't need that vanilla stone X to do that. And it does work. And the other thing uh, Pixel told me is to make a thing here. I, I, I've never heard of this one. A comma. And apparently that is so you can. I, I'll show you guys in a second here what it says on the tooltip. Let's just go ahead and make this. And. What is the other thing is we're going to need this one here. I This tool rod right here. We made last time already. We made one too many. Let's put this in here. And it says right here, the comma is a precision reaping tool. Mowing down plants and shearing animals. So right click, harvest and replant crop. So that, that sounds pretty good. Um, because like with the, with the seeds, uh, the wheat seeds and so on, you know, we ran into the problem that I couldn't right click it. And well, these are not harvestable. How about these guys? Okay. These, and it says right click. I also wanted to check. We can shear leaves. That's pretty cool. So it, it counts like shears. That is really nifty. I like that because now what do these count as? Okay. These do not count as, um, a fuel source. We're going to need it for this covers precision chamber. Well, there's multiple recipes here. Let's just check real quick. Okay. Nothing of interest for us right now. But it's good to have the possibility of shearing because I could also use these for decorative purposes, right? Let me get my collar back. All right, so let's get going here. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves some marble now that we can. Very nice. The quest is probably not going to complete right away. Oh, it did. Okay, it just took a second. And we get 32 more marble. And now it wants us to make the luminous crafting table and a resonating wand. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I think I have everything ready for that. I planned ahead for that. There we go. We get a luminous crafting table. You learned more about exploration. Um, and I should probably make myself an astral tome here as well in a minute. Where's the other wand here? That thing right there. Bam. So we got both of them and the quest probably going to update in a second. There we go. Okay. So I just got to be, um, Really? Is this going to help us in the sky block? I'm not sure. Quest completed. Um, if I hold this. I thought it will only show us this when we're, when we are actually on, well, land. <laughs> not up here, but we have this guy here. And before the sun comes up, I checked here. I'm in the middle of. Three chunks. I wanted to check real quick if I can see. This is not bad for morning here. Just a little bit over three. All right. I want to make sure that I don't drop this fella. Oh God. It takes a pickaxe diamond to pick this up again. <sighs> well, apparently we're going to leave it here for now <laughs> until I can figure out how to pick this up again. I that's a bummer. Okay, anyway, so um let's see what is next. Next will be rock crystals. The luminous crafting table will allow you to make obsidian. You can then turn that into rock crystal ore with the pure daisy. To mine it, however, you're going to need an obsidian pickaxe. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. So, how do we make obsidian? Let's check. That's actually pretty cool. Um, right there. So I'm going to need two sky stone and two polished stone. Polished stone is just stone bricks. That's easy. And sky stone is a soothing marble with chiseled stone or any. Actually, looks like four stone and four cobblestone. All right. And I, I checked out this thing here. So that's going to be interesting. We should be able to do that as well. How you actually make soothe stone. Because I only know the recipe. Where's my bag? Right there. I only know the recipe for um, soothe stone with a charcoal. But apparently, we can also use black dye. So, and then I'm going to need a bowl, a plank, and a stick. And if I remember right, is it like this? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and just make one of these. 
and then we should be able to do that. Oh, it probably needs to be. Let me give it back. Probably needs to be done in here, right? Let's see if we have enough shoes in here for now. Yes. Let's go ahead and craft that up. Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> it was almost instant. All right, so we got that thing. And, okay, let me check here real quick. Let's just get this done. And then I think we're going to call it good for today. Um, Right there. So I need four polished stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first. That should be just like that. And... Skystone was made with four, four, and one. Okay. Um, let's just see if I can remember this. Bada bing. Uh, what? Further memory. Soothing marble. Or cobblestone. Maybe they need to be stone bricks. Oh, again, an Illuminous crafting table. My bad. Now I'm probably going to be out of juice. No, still not out of juice. Okay. Um, I like that. Okay, cool. Very nice. And now, does this need to be made in the Illuminous crafting table? Yes. So that was... Like that. Oh, this only made one. Okay. There is number two. And now we can make this. Not bad. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got this complete and now hopefully it's just gonna let me put this in here. Hopefully it's enough. It should be. Material value 1. It. I need two of them. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and make another one here real quick. And there's number 2. And there's our obsidian pickaxe head. Mining level cobalt. Perfect. So now I can also pick up that table again if I want to move it. Which I definitely want to see if the other chunks maybe have more juice than this one here. You never know. And hopefully I can just... Let's make sure we got the quest first. And then I get two obsidian back. Oh. Now it wants me to get a rock crystal. Okay. So let's see if we can upgrade this pickaxe. There we go. wondering durability 184 so that goes up a little bit as well mining speed goes up a lot cool all right we got this thing here and yes we can pick this up so right here during the day just under one let's go ahead and put it in this one a little bit less and let's put it into this last one over here less okay so the first chunk that we had it in was actually the best right over here that's the only three i really have access to between episodes guys i'm probably gonna bridge out a bit into a few of the other chunks here just to find out maybe if i can find one that is even better than what we have here even though this is quite it's not bad for noon without anything around it right um it's actually amazing that we get anything but it's probably the height what y level are we at here um how does all this get hidden? I don't understand that. There we go. We are at Y85. All right, good. So, what are the next steps? I'm going to have to get rock crystal. Now, this set us here. You can then turn that into rock crystal or with a pure daisy. Well, we have these two obsidian. Oh, we're going to get those as rewards. So, that means I'm going to need to make another one. I'm going to go ahead and make another obsidian real quick. I kind of want to complete that quest today. So, let's see. Yep, we get the particle effect. So, this should turn into a rock crystal or whatever they're called. And I wanted to test something here. That would be really amazing. And that is if I plant this 
bone millet to make it too high. Can I use this comma to shear it? I can. That is really nice. I'm happy about this. I'm. Uh, thank you so much, Pixel, for telling me about this. Because that's going to make it, you know, that I get dice very easy now. And I don't need to use my other pl uh, flowers that I have so far. That, so that is cool. So now I can make tons of this. Tons of marble. Everything we need. And let's go ahead and harvest this one. Maybe we get two. No, only one. Well, not too bad. Okay. So we got this quest completed as well. Shit. Complete. Come on. Do it. Do it for me. No. Okay. How about now? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it wants a size 400 purity 100 cutting 100. Uh, I, um, no. no. No thanks. I don't want to have to do that. Just to get the first one done here. Okay, I'm gonna find out if this needs to be a 400, 100, 100, if that is intended, or maybe it's just a, a little tweak that we need. And if not, if it does not require to be the big size here, then we're just gonna complete it by hand later. Um, but we got it made, so that is cool. Now it wants me to make an Astro Tome and whatnot, all these little things. I might do some of these off camera between episodes, so we can get them out of the way and possibly get to this, but that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for all your feedback, for all the likes on the video. I usually never mention likes in my videos, guys. You know that. I don't like asking for them. Be uh, last time, uh, this last episode, you guys blew it out of the park. Almost 100 likes in one day. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much for that support on this series. And I'll catch you in the next episode, okay? Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.